Hi, I'm Andrew Daly. I am a director of Every Daily, and we are the leading specialist recruiters in the world of procurement and supply chain technology. And today I'm going to do something I've never done before. I'm going to make some predictions about next year's job market. I don't normally make predictions because you set yourself up for a fall, but I believe the evidence is growing for, that will enable me to make some fairly uh, strong claims about what I expect to see in 2022. Now, at the foundation of these claims, is the fact that the increasing digitization of procurement supply chain is now gathering momentum, which we've not seen before. And that's driving growth in a number of key areas. So for example, we'll start with the big established vendors. Their headcounts have increased significantly in 2021, and they will continue to do so because they are seeing more and more returns on their investment in their solutions, their salespeople, etc., etc. So they are all growing, or the vast majority of them are growing, and that is driving growth in their headcount. We're also seeing a number of new entrants in areas that are the best of breed solutions. So we've got a number of startups. Some of those may fall by the wayside, but some will also be very successful because they've got clever pieces of technology and they will uh, also increase their headcounts. Then we've got scale ups. Uh, there's a lot of money pouring into the sector. Venture capital uh, funding is really fueling the growth of a number of scale up solution providers. Um, and so again, we expect to see more headcount there. What about the corporates? Well, um, there is now a gradual rise in specialist, specialist in-house digital procurement and supply chain roles. It's been a long time in coming, but we're thankful that it's finally happening. We know it's something which is required for companies to get the best from all these solutions. So now there's a growth in the, um, the, the end user market. And the consultancies that are advising and integrating and helping with transformations around the adoption of these solutions are also seeing growth in headcount. So that's several areas of seeing growth. And that's before we even talk about sustainability in ESG and that factor coming into the market. You know, 2021 was a year everyone talked about it. Hopefully 2022 will be the year people start to do something about it and that will see some growth in that area. And all these companies have got one thing in common. They want people who know procurement and supply chain. They want people who understand technology. And the supply of those people is constrained there's not enough people being trained. There's not enough people entering the market. And even when we go and look at people from other sectors, there's really fertile job market conditions in those sectors as well. So we're going to have uh, a continued inequality of supply and demand. It's going to push salaries up. It's going to push bonuses up. And it's going to push competition up for the very best people. And that is just not going to stop. So the, the job market in 2022 is, is going to be red hot. Now, I'm going to make a separate video which will explain to you what you as an employer can do um, about that. And we're also making a video for you as an individual, a potential employee, what that means for you and your career choices and your value. So please watch the various videos in the series. Uh, as I say, you can click on the link uh, to see our insider report, which will give you more intelligence about what's been happening in 2021. And I'm always interested to hear from you at andrew at everyday.com. Um, if you're interested in getting more information about you specifically or your organisation.